Hello everyone, this is Asnoitje here. Thank you for tuning in. This is Asnoitje Audio. So, I have decided to talk about a particular topic that comes up a lot in the readings that I do for people. Um, typically, it is for women. So this video is actually targeting more of the feminine energy. Um, I will have something for males as well in the coming future. But for now, I'm going to be focusing on certain issues that I have noticed as a reoccurring theme over time through the types of readings that I do. And hopefully, I'll be able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance as to why a man feels and talks the way that he does. How am I able to see this? Well, as many of you know, um, I recently discovered in my life that um, I have the ability of seeing things in terms of feelings and emotions anywhere, at any time, at any place. I can be in my hometown and literally within seconds, I know across half the world with two or three people who's feeling what for who. So it's strange for me. But it's something that I do. I've become used to it. And um, it's very helpful. It's something I did not do before. But as my life progressed in certain things, this is something that I have embraced now. So what I want to do is help others understand why certain men, and this video is specifically for us women that are dealing with men, or for women that are dealing with the masculine energy. So masculine energy could also be, for example, two women, okay? One is more masculine than the other. So the first topic I would like to cover, and before I begin, where do I get this information from? Part of it is from myself, my own experiences. And second, um, the experiences that I have seen and witnessed, been through the entire process with all of my clients. So Certain people send me these scenarios, their issues, their problems. And yes, I do help them solve certain issues that they have. But it's for me, usually, what is the other person feeling? What are they truly hiding? And if they're hiding something, why are they feeling that way in the first place? There's many videos out there. And they're excellent videos, and I myself have watched them numerous times with expert coaches um, on relationships, relationship issues. These are great resources. There's no doubt about that. And I do encourage you, if you are having relationship problems, to definitely do as much research as you can. I do recommend that. Because if you don't have that knowledge you will be going through those hard times yourself. And somebody has already been there and done that. Why do you have to go through that? That's why we have resources out there so that you can get that information so you can just learn right from there and then you know what to do. The problem is when we're in love, we don't really care <laughs> about anything else, do we? especially as females. It's all about love. It's all about those feelings. It's all about that emotion. And that's the way we are. And we're not going to change. We like the way we are. We shouldn't have to change. Now, the first topic I'm going to be covering is for those of you who have been or maybe are still are in a situation with some man who is divorced. And the other similar man would be somebody who is in separation. So somebody who's been in a long term committed relationship, and then they were divorced or somebody who's simply just in separation. Divorced is very, very strong. Um, those type of readings really come through with a lot of heartache and pain and passion. So let's talk about some examples. One of the main examples, and I mean, in all honesty, it all comes down to one main thing. Um, a woman sees a guy, they start talking. All right. Turns out the man tells her that, yes, 
I have recently divorced. Or I am in the process of divorce and I am separated. The woman feels very happy that, hey, this guy can be maybe a keeper. Um, this is somebody that I can be with because he has been in a relationship before. So he knows what commitment is like. He knows what family life is like. And of course, this doesn't have to be for two people that want to get married, right? This could be for two people that simply want to be together and be in a connection with each other long term, like two, two people that just live together. Um, that would be common law. Still, the same situation applies. So they meet each other and they get to know one another and then they become intimate. All right. The guy ends up saying certain things and making certain promises to a certain degree. Some men do and some men don't. Some men stay very aloof and very quiet and some men do. And I have seen with my own experience and through the different clients that I've had from across the world, every culture has a different kind of guy. It's just a culture. Every man behaves differently. So not definitely. There's no such thing as all men are the same. No. Just like not all women are the same. No. Now, we also have a situation when a man becomes really close to a woman. Then he pulls away. Suddenly he changes. Suddenly he flips. He ghosts you. Why on earth would somebody like that ghost you? He may have told you that look, I'm still trying to see where things go, but I really like you and I want to get to know you more. But still, he just ghosted you. Why is that? What I've noticed is one main thing. In these type of situations, a man, first of all, the feelings of a man, let me tell you what a man truly feels. This is the revealing of what a man truly feels who's going through divorce. Some of you may know this, maybe others of you don't. I never knew this until I actually did these readings, and I could see through the cards what they feel. When a man is in the process of a divorce, first of all, not a lot of men want to divorce. A lot of men may still be, unfortunately, in that connection. They still might be married, separated, but still being with the woman in the home. And yet they're dating another woman. And that's another scenario where women are wondering, okay, when is he going to leave his wife and be with me? When is this divorce going to occur? Why hasn't it happened? So it's basically the same scenario. What the man feels when they get a divorce, okay, this is the man that's completely gone. He's divorced his wife of so many years. They feel depressed. They rush into a relationship, neglecting the part that there is emotional trauma that the man has gone through as well. He does not do any type of therapy. He does not try to heal because he doesn't think that it's important. He thinks that he'll be able to deal with it. The stress levels get so high that he can no longer function normally as he used to. And the situation becomes so intense that his feelings start to haunt him. The past starts to come back into his life. And he wonders, what is she doing? My wife, my ex-wife. He starts wondering about her. Why? Because he's been with her for so long. Now, the man that has divorced, if you're dating somebody like this or if you have in the past, what happened and what happens in their mind is they feel unworthy. They feel unworthy of someone else often, but they also feel unworthy as a man. They feel that they were the alpha, they were supposed to be the provider, they were supposed to be the one that takes care of the whole family. 
the traditional way, okay, the old-fashioned way. This is what their feelings were. And this is why they got married in the first place, because they met this person that they wanted to be with. They thought things were okay, but of course people change. They built a life together. They built a home. They got a home together. They built memories together. They had children together. This guy has invested his entire life into building this kingdom, the king of his castle. Once that throne is gone, he feels extremely sad. And in society, he actually feels that he is a little less. He no longer feels confident. He's lost his self-esteem. He feels extremely insecure. There is fear in his heart. Why does he feel this? He feels this because ever since he was a teenager, he has worked towards his goals. He tried to work hard. He finally found someone special. He did those night shifts. He worked extra hard for that exam. He prepared for that interview. And when everything came through, he shared it with the love of his life. At the time, he tried. But the thing is, it did not work out for him. Is he a robot? No, he's not. There's parts of him that he's able to compartmentalize. Men can do this. Women, it's slightly different. The fear, the feelings of unworthiness, the embarrassment, how am I going to face society? All of this is not released. All of this is kept inside, unfortunately. And imagine, just imagine, in today's society, North American society and Western society, even in the East, it's good because it is needed. There is the whole alimony situation, the dividing up of assets, the dividing up of investments, all that kind of stuff. When someone is divorcing, typically the woman does get half or sometimes more than half, depending on the situation financially, and that's fair. To some degree, it's fair. I have also seen that there are women that are very evil. I am a female, I'm saying this, I'm in the justice field, legal justice field, so I have seen a lot of weird stuff, a lot of weird women, um, who just are not kind. And similarly, there's men like that, right? Men are like that too. People. People can be good or bad. Those are their actions. So the man has worked his entire life, and... The way society is right now, there is a lot of favor towards the women, and it's needed. To a high level of degree, it's totally needed. To some degree, for some people, for some women, people sometimes abuse the system. And it's those type of stories and that type of rationale that really ruins a relationship. Why? Two things, the man who's divorcing or the man who's divorced, he doesn't want to let go of that lifestyle that he has worked so hard for and achieved. He was the king of his castle. He doesn't want to let go of that because eventually part of it will go to the female and he will have to downgrade and live in a smaller place. He will also have to be far away from his children. Mostly, it's because of the children. A lot of women ask me, why hasn't he left his home? He keeps saying that he will, and they wait for years. It's very sad, and it's very upsetting. But the man feels that if he has any type of priorities, the priority first is his children, and still, the woman that he used to be with the woman that took care of him for many years, the woman that gave him those children. 
So he does have a soft spot. I have seen a lot of people that divorce, a lot of men that divorce, they still love their exes, actually. It's very common. I've seen that in these readings. And because there's that love, it's hard for them to completely cut it off. They can't cut it off. Men do have a very soft spot for women, um, and that's wonderful. Um, sometimes they don't, depending on the woman. But this is a very sensitive topic, and it's hard to even talk about it, but I really have seen men crying, men drinking themselves to sleep because they cannot tolerate it. They can't handle it. Why? Because, quote, boys don't cry, unquote. I hate that saying. Boys do cry. They need to cry because they're people. The whole reason why men act the way that they are right now is because society has turned them into what they are. Macho, alpha, too alpha, to the point where it's difficult to even communicate with them. It's not easy. They keep this rough exterior. Everything's okay. I'm fine. Yeah, I've got this. I'm cool. It doesn't matter if I divorced. I'm just going out there to seek other people. The truth is he's distracting himself. That's what's happening. And he doesn't know that he's distracting himself because he's hurting on the inside. The problem is usually men that are really traumatized, and I've seen this, there's emotional trauma in a man that has divorced. There is emotional trauma. It's very rare if a man has divorced and they don't feel that. I've done too many readings to dismiss that. I've also seen that there's some men that when they divorce, if they are truly in love with the other woman, then he will marry her or he will be with her. Then there is no other feeling towards the ex. That's a different situation. But I'm talking about the ones that are just not available for you. The ones that are always ghosting. So this person who would be this man, he ends up behaving in a way which is very opposite to what he said. He said he really adores you and he wants to be with you and he wants to see where this goes. But then why did he ghost you? Typically, these are the reasons why. Because he is not feeling as secure as he once did. He's feeling very unworthy. He's feeling a lack of confidence. He's not man enough. He doesn't feel bold enough. On the inside, he feels like his project of a lifetime just failed. This is for those of you that are dealing with a very alpha man. This is for alpha man who would be like, you know, the head of the household in a traditional kind of setting. Now, what I've also seen is that some men that are divorced, if they promise a girl something and they're truly in love with the girl, like they truly are in love with a woman, I have seen that, and they just can't be with them because they don't want to change their lifestyle. Plus, they're afraid of what might happen if they are with this new woman. Why? Because there's trauma from the past. So there is trauma that joins in and acts like a burden in this person's mind. Now, also, I've seen men who are divorced and they are literally not able to compare you to anybody else, but they will compare you to their wife, their ex-wife. Why do they do that? Well, because they've been with that woman for years. The first thing that you do in terms of an argument, this guy might end up snapping, saying something to you and ghosting you. Or he might not say anything at all, and then he might just, poof, go away. And of course, that is a problem. Because there's a lack of information that comes through from his side, it's extremely confusing for a woman because he said one thing, but he did something else. And this is what this message is, at least in this video, that in this audio recording, 
that no matter what happens, no matter how a man acts on the outside, who is divorced or is getting a divorce, there is turmoil. There are a lot of issues going on on the inside. You have to be very, very careful when you are dating somebody who has divorced or is getting a divorce. I have seen this so many times in my clients' lives, and it hurts because, like I said, on an international level, men really don't expose themselves. So what is their type of therapy, what I've seen in and these cards. Their type of therapy is usually going drinking, hanging out with friends, going poker night, keeping busy, but it's all about keeping busy, right? Why are we keeping busy? Because he does not want to face the truth. He's in denial. It's inevitable. What's going to happen is going to happen, but he doesn't want it to happen. Therefore, he is procrastinating. That is why he keeps you hanging on as well. You're just lingering on. But that's why. Because he himself is not able to move forward in that way mentally. So he tries to delay things. He tries to distract himself. Distraction is not good. Healing is good. And healing is important. Because if you don't heal, you are going to create bad karma for yourself and do the same nonsense with somebody else. You're going to hurt somebody else and you will eventually end up becoming, at that point, karmic partners. Where in the next life, you're going to have to come back and fix things. It's not good. Breaking someone's heart is bad karma. I've seen that in past life readings. Um, it's, it's, it's very hurtful. When somebody breaks your heart or somebody doesn't love you and they say that they do, that's a huge thing. That's bad karma in the universe. Because in this lifetime, those people are suffering. And I've seen that in my past life readings. So that is somebody who is divorced. Going over it again, a divorced man feels unworthy. He used to be the king of his castle. Now he's not. He's trying to distract himself. He shows off as if he's okay, but there's a lack of confidence on the inside. There's edginess. He's right on edge, right on the edge. Any type of anything that you might say that reminds him of an argument that him and his ex-wife went through, he might immediately stop talking to you. And you will never know why. Because in his mind, he's thinking, hey, I never took this bullshit from her. What the hell do you think is going to happen with you? You think I'm going to take this from you? No, no, no. I've been there and done that, honey. Goodbye. I'm not talking to you. And he will just ghost. He will just fade. We don't know these things, right? But the thing is that you can't be walking on eggshells either. You have to try. You don't know until you try. That's why I wanted to make this video because it's so important to know when you're getting involved with somebody like this, there's nothing wrong with being with someone who's divorced or a man who is separated or who is getting separated. There's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is that when we rush into it and we think that the person is actually healed from it. Basically, when you're dealing with a man who has divorced or is who who is divorcing or in separation, patience is the key. Patience is needed. If you are patient, then that's okay. But do not try to rush a person in that situation because he truly has not healed. He has come to you for healing. His soul has come to you for healing, but he's not healing the right way. What he needs is maybe talk therapy. He needs to vent. He needs to let it out. And not by means of alcohol or talking to friends or being with a bunch of women. No, that's not the way of healing. Healing is to contemplate life and wonder why this happened. How can I fix this? What could I have done better? But then realizing that you did your best. You did the best that you could because that's all that you knew. This is what goes on in the mind of somebody who is in this position. 
I never knew these things. I never even thought of these things because I never encountered anything like this. But with the grace of God, he's given me this ability. And I've seen the hurt and pain that so many, so many women go through. And it's really heartbreaking. You shouldn't have to go through that because you're thinking that you're giving somebody else a second chance. And this person comes into your life hoping, hoping with the intention that this will be a second chance, but it's not. And just saying it, oh my God, I got tears in my eyes right now. It's, you know, you guys know. I do these readings and I actually feel people's emotions, so it's, it gets really, really painful sometimes. I hope that this reading, or not this reading, this recording, um, has been helpful and that um, ladies out there, you can think twice about how you want to proceed in a connection like this because there is potential. But also there are times when the man just can't get over the woman, the man just can't get over the ex. There's a lot of times when they go back to that person. Many ladies have asked me, why? Why did he go back to her? Because he didn't want her in the beginning. And he came to me, so why did he go back to her? Well, it's simply because she was a part of his life. She knows what makes him tick. She knows how he likes his sex. She knows what he likes to eat in the morning, right? There's, there's tiny, tiny things. Like she might know what medicines he's taking and what time he has to take them. You know what I mean? Like there's so many things that a husband and wife do or people that are living together in common law do. They become so used to each other. That was the life that he was comfortable with. That is the life that he knew. And that is sometimes why these men end up going back to those women. Because of the comfort. The comfort that they can't find anywhere else. And because they truly never healed. If the person has healed, if the man has healed, then he will be able to go on and move on and be with somebody else. But if he has not healed, and if he is jumping right after Oh, the divorce. I've seen men who have divorced and then three months later they're in the dating game. Oh my God, that doesn't work well. Um, so many hearts are broken because of that. It's not good. So that is this particular um, part of this recording. I probably will be um, having separate recordings for this. So this is for those of you that have dealt with a situation in regards to somebody who is um, male, who is divorced or has divorced uh, in separation or has, um, or has been thinking of separation. There are certain reasons why he might not because of lifestyle, because of the kids, and kids are important. They are his life. That's why. If a man is not able to make that decision and not able to be with you, it's because his heart is literally enveloped with the other people. It's that, that's where his heart is. That is where his heart is. Unfortunately, it's not with you. But just to add in before I leave, or rather end this recording, I have seen also where men do love a woman who is not their wife. They love her to bits so much. And they're just not able to leave because so much of their time, investment, effort, energy has, a bit, has been put in. The one thing that men don't really like, um, and I've seen this a lot in my readings, is when a man gets divorced and he leaves and he moves to an apartment and the woman has the house and then she has a boyfriend that comes over in the house that the husband initially bought, right? Um, and this is very typical. I mean, of course, these days we have men and women working together. 
However, in some of the scenarios that I've seen, these are a lot of like um, rich men. <laughs> so these are rich men, but they are men who have had housewives. So, um, and housewives, obviously, it's a full-time job being a housewife. It is, definitely. Um, there's so much that happens, and there is hesitation on many, many levels. So some guys may say yes, and some guys may say no. Um, some guys are very direct, and they're honest. And a lot of um, the readings that I do, sometimes even when the man is being direct and very honest, the woman does not believe him because the woman is in denial. And you have to make sure that you are not in that type of mindset where you are in denial. If a man tells you something honestly, it's usually because he actually means it. If he says he loves you, mo the majority of the time he does mean it. He does mean it. He might love you, but he might not be in love with you. There's a difference there. And if he's not in love with you, that's why he goes back to his ex because that's who he's in love with. But he simply loves you. And that is this part of the reading. Um, oh, recording. I keep saying reading. I hope you guys um, kind of enjoyed this and it was helpful for some of you out there. Um, there's a lot that goes into this. A lot of um, the, fe the feelings of, and I'm seeing right now another card. I see I have some cards out in front of me. But the feeling of embarrassment. Um, embarrassment of and not feeling that he's capable of going back into the dating world not good enough because so much time has passed and he doesn't know much. This is very common with men and women, actually. So that, that'll be another topic I'll be talking about. All right, then. Thank you so much for tuning in for your support, and I will see you guys again. Bye now.